Welcome to the introduction of a great new control for TMS Web Core. T-Web Signature Capture allows you to include handwritten signatures in your web applications. Common use cases for handwritten signatures are acknowledgments of contracts, signing up for services, or confirmation for deliveries. Of course, as it is a web application, this gives you exactly the flexibility that you need. You do not need to pay any attention to the target system because the web application will take care of the rest for you. TMS makes it very easy for you to offer handwritten signatures. You simply define the area where the user can sign. The signature will then be delivered as a graphic. Of course, you are used to this from TMS. The control is fully customizable. First of all, you can customize the button that you see right here that can be used to clear the surface for the signature. Whenever you've tried to make a signature on a tablet PC with a pen, you might get distracted or the signature doesn't look good. So this button offers you to clear the signature quickly. If you're used to making payments in the United States at Target or Publix, they all offer a signature pad that offers the button like it looks here as a simple cross to clear out the signature. This is customizable. You can use any other image and you can also change the position of that graphic. You can also set the mode, style and width of the pen that you want to use to make the signature and the position of the text sign here and the text itself, of course, is customizable. The most important aspect of the control, you don't see it here in the object inspector, it is only available at runtime. Going to the source code, just switching over to the code and typing the name of the component, web signature capture one dot, you see that you can get the image as a base64 encoded image using the get base64 image property. The image is returned as a string and Delphi offers various methods to convert it to a T graphic or T bitmap, whatever you need. But as it is a base64 image, you can easily use it in your web application and supply it to other HTML controls. Let's have a look at the demonstration that is part of TMS Web Core. You see here, you can change the pen width. So if you try to do your signature, you can change the width multiple times so you can have a signature even with different pen width if so desired. The text is set to sign here and clicking the button removes the signature. Also the demonstration gives you a hint how you can download information from your web application and store it locally on the disk as you see right here. This is something that is very useful and is a completely different aspect of web development with Delphi that this demonstration shows. So you cannot only use the graphic signature and pass it on to other HTML controls or send it to your X data server to store it in a database. No, you can also simply download it to the local system. Looking at the code for the button, we see how it is being done. First of all, we create a JavaScript HTML element and we create an HTML element of type A. So in HTML, this would look something like this so far. And now you add an attribute called href and you set href. Usually if you build your HTML document, href designates a link, a reference, but you can also include base64 encoded content. So here you actually have the content of the image and image content calling it like this. And then you add another attribute, which is called download. And download, this is rather new. This has not been supported in older browsers. This is something that has been added with HTML5, if I'm not mistaken. You can say download equals and then specify a file name. And this file name will be used by the browser to save the file locally or if you have configured your browser to ask for the file name your browser will present this file name as a default in this case it will be signature.png and then store the file on disk and also this is the trick you set this tag display to none 
So what happens is you set style equals and then display none. That makes your HTML tag that I wrote down here inside of the document invisible. So the user will never see anything from it. Of course, you have to add this HTML control to the document body. And then this is the magic of JavaScript. You click it. You don't click it yourself, but the JavaScript source code calls the click event. And if you click on a download link, guess what happens? The file is downloaded to your disk. And then you remove the element from the document again. So this way you can provide downloading of content in your TMS web core applications without using any upload or download control. You simply generate an HTML element inside of your document and trigger the click event of that control. And this way the web browser thinks the user clicked on that control and the download is started. I think this is a great solution that is easy to understand and it's also not using any browser specific tricks. No, it is using HTML and will be compatible to any browser you might encounter nowadays. This is yet another great component that was added to the TMS web core component set. You're now able to offer handwritten signatures in your applications and deliver them as images and store them in databases or which is shown in the demonstration, store them directly locally and offer a download of that signature.